So this is my 1980s General Electric clock radio with an electronic touch control. These buttons are really smooth and very light, doesn't require a lot of pressure on them. I'll turn it on briefly. Okay, so the rest of the buttons, what do we have here? We have snooze, display select, reverse, fast, forward, wake set, nap, it's one of my favorite, sleep, and the turn off buttons here, okay? Um, the other buttons we have here, this is to, this is the volume right here, and this tunes the radio, okay? This is the tone. So bass, treble, and AM, FM setting. It's got a really nice bright display, good size number, not overly, you know, not too big, not exaggerated, good size. I can see it from across the room. Uh, and this can be dimmed, check this out. Actually, let me flip this over and I'll go over what's on the bottom here, okay? I'm thinking the warning sign says, don't lick the battery inside here. This is a nine volt battery. I haven't been able to open this little door, believe it or not. I, I actually, let me tell you, I bought this about three months ago at Goodwill and um, it's been a great find. I love this little radio, absolutely love it. This is to dim the display. Oh, and let me tell you about these little rubber feet. These are great because it reduces the vibration. They're not hard plastic, so it's not vibrating on the furniture as much. It's kind of like a little shock absorber, and it keeps it from sliding around on the furniture also, or scratching it, okay? So let me dim this, okay? Okay, so I'm doing this one-handed. That's full brightness right there. And we're gonna go all the way down to complete darkness right there. Let's take a look. You're sleeping. Let's turn the brightness back up. I'm doing this one handed, so it's a little awkward here. So let's go over the display here, okay? So display select. Now this is the reg this is the regular time right now. This is what you would see throughout the day. This display here. You hit display the select button once and a little time symbol comes up there that means we can set the time now so if we were wanted to set the time to like 9 30 because i don't know for some reason or another it's the wrong time you would hit the forward button right here and you'd go forward okay let's say it's 9 30. but that's not real that's not the real time so i'm going to go back okay now whatever that time was i don't even know but we'll say it's 9 17 i forget uh, and then you hit display select again. And you say you want to set the alarm clock. Now it's at wake. You want to set the alarm clock and we're going to reverse it. Let's say I want to have this come on at 6.45. Okay, so it's 6.45. That little icon means that I'm going to wake up to music. Okay, if you don't want to wake up to music, then you go over to wake set and you press the wake set and you hit alarm and music or just alarm, but in my case, I just want music, okay? You go back to display select, and you're back to the regular time setting, and it's telling you right there that there's an alarm coming on with music, okay? So you're gonna wake up to music at what time? You hit the display select, at wake at 6.45 with music, okay? All right, so you get home from work, watch television, eat dinner, have fun with the kids, whatever, I don't know. Or if you're single, you do whatever you do when you're single, okay? And let's say you wanna to go to sleep around 10 o'clock at night. You would hit sleep here. And your radio is gonna play for 15 minutes. I turned it off. It's gonna, play for 15 minutes so you're going to listen to about three songs and you're going to pass out you had a hard day at work you don't have a problem falling asleep okay 
Now, let's say you want to sleep, go to bed, you kind of unwind, or maybe you're, you know, you're, you're checking emails or something like that, and you, you want to put to sleep for 35 minutes, okay? You're going to listen to or read your texts or emails for 15 or 20 minutes and then close your eyes, okay? And then lull yourself to sleep with a few songs, okay? Or NPR, or the radio, or whatever, okay? So you hit sleep, and you would hit forward, and add, let's say, 35 minutes of music, okay? And then you would play for 35 minutes. Now, the next time you want to hit sleep, let's say it's the next day, same thing. You pretty much have a routine, nightly routine. You would hit sleep. 35 comes up. That means that's how long your radio is going to stay on before it automatically goes off. I had to do that kind of blurry, or not blurry, but uh, staticky radio noise back there because, you know, if I play a song by accident, then I got to make the whole video over again. So now nap. Let's say you're working. You work from home or something like that, and somebody calls you on the phone, and it's really important, and your radio's playing. Okay, the radio's playing. Let's see if we can put it on something that's not so annoying. I mean, uh, copyright infringed. Um, your radio's playing. Okay, and you get a phone call, you hit nap. And it's going to nap for seven minutes. That means you have seven minutes for this to be off. It'll, it'll be off for seven minutes. You can do whatever you're going to do. Maybe, you know, take a call or, you know, somebody knocked at the door or, or you're listening to somebody outdoors and you want to hear something and you want the radio off for a few minutes, okay? This radio is going to come back on in seven minutes, okay, automatically to its its settings, okay? Now, let's say you have a, you regularly want to turn this off a few minutes because you're doing something. I don't know, maybe you're babysitting and you want to hear the baby or something like that. Um, you want to change the nap from seven minutes. You can do it like this with these buttons right here. Forward, forward. And reverse. Oops, let's go back. So you hit nap. It's set for a 27 minute nap. But really, reg regularly, you just want a break of music or sound for five minutes. That's it, permanently set. So if you're working from home and you regularly get phone calls and you know they last two, three, four minutes, a five minute nap, the radio turning off for five minutes to allow you to take your call and then automatically coming back on, that's what you would leave it on, okay? So your sleep, your nap, your wake set, time settings. Uh, oh, your snooze, okay? So you're listening to the radio in the morning. Let me, turn that, let me turn that volume down, okay? You would hit snooze, it's a five minute snooze. If you wanna change the setting, of, or the setting of the snooze, same thing. Oops, let's go back here. You wanna do a 10 minute snooze. There you go, 10 minutes news. That's that's set now permanently until you change it. So there you go, folks. That's my 1980s General Electric clock radio. I absolutely love it. I'd love to play some music so you can hear it. Actually, let me find something so you can hear it. Okay, hold on a second. So there you go, folks. Clock radio. If you get one of these, man, it's really a good investment. I think it's, you know, if you're into retro vintage stuff, um, it's pretty cool, man. I love it. It's, uh, it's been it's, it's a piece of entertainment. To me, it's a piece of art, man. I think it looks cool. I just love it. So share your comments. Hey, that's my birthday right there. <laughs> that's good luck. I'll talk to you. I'll talk to you guys later.